In this module, we'll discuss the Flight Management System, or FMS. Our discussion will include the FMS components and their relationships, the Flight Management Computer, and the FMS Control Display Unit. The FMS includes two flight management computers and three FMS control display units, or FMS CDUs. The FMS receives information from the air data computers, inertial reference systems, autoflight, EFIS, and FMS CDUs. The FMS sends information to many systems, including electronic engine controls, auto flight, navigation radio, and flight instruments. Let's now discuss the Flight Management Computer, or FMC. There are two FMCs. Both are identical. The FMC master switch is located on the center instrument panel. The FMC master switch is used to direct left or right FMC information to the electronic engine controls, auto flight, and navigation radios. Contained within each FMC is a navigation database. The navigation database contains all the information necessary for worldwide navigation. The data includes airports, airways, and navigation radio stations. The FMC receives the flight plan from the FMS CDU. Flight plan entry is covered in FMS preflight. The FMCs navigate in two dimensions, lateral and vertical, and are referred to as LNAV and VNAV. The flight plan contains both the LNAV and VNAV path. The waypoints of the flight plan are displayed on the FMS CDU and the navigation display. The navigation display is covered in flight instruments. The FMC position is a combination of IRS positioning, GPS positioning, and the updating from the VOR DME radios. The prioritized navigational mode that the FMC uses to determine its position are 1. IRS localizer GPS 2. IRS localizer DME DME 3. IRS localizer VOR DME 4. IRS localizer 5. IRS GPS 6. IRS DME DME 7. IRS VOR DME 8. IRS only 9. GPS only 10. DME DME only 11. VOR DME only FMC positioning usually combines the three IRS positions into one by using the weighted average of the three IRSs. The GPS position is sent directly to the FMC. The FMC uses the sensor satellite integrity monitor to determine if the position is valid. If valid, the GPS position is directly used as the current position. The FMC also uses two DME signals to further refine the FMC position. When only one DME is available, the FMC will use a VOR bearing with the DME distance to further refine the FMC position. During an ILS approach, the FMC will use the ILS localizer to further refine the FMC position. When no navigation aids are available, the FMC continues to use the radio refinements for position.
The FMC message, IRS Navigation Only, is displayed when GPS and DME reception is lost. When operating at polar latitudes, the FMCs will not use the combined IRS position. Each FMC will use the position of its respective IRS after GPS and radio DME refinements are lost. FMS CDU message split IRS operation is displayed when FMC positioning is not using the combined three IRS positions. Each FMC utilizes a single IRS. The FMS auto tunes the VOR, DME, and ILS radios. Navigation radio tuning is covered in the navigation radio module. In addition to the navigation database, the FMCs also contain the thrust management function, or TMF, and performance database. The TMF uses information from the performance database to compute performance values. The TMF is used for all performance calculations. This includes calculations for speed, altitude, thrust, and trim. Navigation and performance databases are routinely updated by maintenance. Question. Answer B is correct. Question. Answer A is correct. Question. Answer A is correct. The ICAST advisory message FMC is displayed when the FMC has failed. When the selected FMC fails, the auto throttle disconnects and LNAV and VNAV are inoperative. The FMS CDU enunciator fail illuminates and the FMS CDU CRT displays the menu page when its respective FMC fails. Rotating the FMC master switch to the operative FMC provides valid information. Let's now discuss the FMS control display unit, or FMS CDU. The FMS CDUs are located on the aisle stand. The left FMS CDU communicates with the left FMC, and the right FMS CDU communicates with the right FMC. Center FMS CDU receives information from the left FMC but it cannot send information to either FMC. The two FMCs communicate with each other. The FMS CDU has a CRT, line select keys, function keys, a brightness control, execute key, alphanumeric keys, and enunciators. Pushing a function key displays the corresponding page. 
The CRT displays several lines of information. Each set of information is referred to as a page. At the top of each page, the page title and page number are displayed. With multiple pages, pushing the next page key displays the next page in the sequence. Pushing the previous page key displays the previous page in the sequence. The last page displayed, pushing the next page key, displays the first page. With the first page displayed, pushing the previous page key, displays the last page. There are 12 line select keys used to manipulate information. The left line select keys are associated with information on the left side of the CRT. The right line select keys are associated with information on the right side of the CRT. There are up to two lines of information associated with each line select key. When there are two lines of information, the first line is the title line. Boxes indicate an entry is required for FMC operation. Dashes indicate an entry necessary for optimal FMC operation, but not required. Pushing the line select key next to a carotid line displays the indicated page or selects the indicated function. Information is displayed in large and small font. At the bottom of each page is the scratch pad. Pushing an alphanumeric key enters a character into the scratch pad. Pushing the clear key removes the last character entered into the scratch pad. Pushing and holding the clear key clears the scratch pad. If there is no information in the scratch pad, pushing a line select key moves the information from the selected line to the scratch pad. There is information in the scratch pad. Pushing the line select key moves the information from the scratch pad to the line selected. The FMS CDU message invalid entry is displayed in the scratch pad when the FMS CDU will not accept the line selected information from the scratch pad. Pushing the clear key removes the message. Pushing the delete key enters delete into the scratch pad. Pushing a line select key with delete in the scratch pad removes the information in that line. The FMS CDU message invalid delete is displayed in the scratch pad when the FMS CDU will not remove the line selected information. Pushing the clear key removes the message. The FMS CDU enunciators illuminate to remind or notify the flight crew of various conditions. The FMS CDU enunciator message illuminates when a message is displayed in the scratch pad. ICAS advisory message FMC message is displayed when an FMC message is displayed in the FMS CDU scratch pad. The execute key illuminates when a flight plan change is pending. Pushing the execute key executes the change. 
The FMS CDU has several other uses. They include alternate control of the IRS and EFIS ICAST displays. These functions are covered in standby navigation. Question. Answer A is correct. Let's review the key points. The FMS communicates with several systems. The FMS CDUs send and receive information to and from the FMCs. The FMCs navigate along a lateral and vertical path.